to talk about how the Mach 5 pump works. Uh, this is a Mach 5 pump here. It's an AC pump. It's available in 115 or 230 volt AC 60 cycle and it's also available in 230 volt 50 cycle AC for uh, European standard. This pump is a multi-stage impeller pump. There's three sets of impellers in the pump. Each set of impellers raises the uh, pressure. The flow rate starts with the first set and then each set of consequently raises the pressure. This pump's open flow rating is about 20 gallons a minute at about 40 to 45 PSI or approximately 3 bar it gives you 10 to 12 gallons a minute flow rate or, or about 50 liters per minute flow rate. Uh, this pump normally cuts in around 40 PSI and turns out around 60 PSI. The way this pump turns on, it has a pressure sense, uh, pressure switch in it that when the pressure drops to approximately 40 PSI, this turns the pump on. After the pump is finished working, in other words, if all your faucets are closed and there's no more demand on the system, the flow meter in the pump sees uh, no flow or no demand. And after the flow meter sees no flow for 15 seconds, it turns the pump off. Now, if you're running out of water and it turns the pump off, that means there's no pressure and the pressure switch isn't satisfied. So it turns off and shows an alarm light, a dry run light. So the flow meter and the pressure switch work together to, to decide if your pump is turning off normal or turning off an alarm. Another thing the flow meter does is it counts cycles. If you have a small leak in a system and no accumulator tank, for example, any small drips in the system will drop the pressure and allow the pump to cycle. If this pump cycles on and off forever without moving any water, it will overheat the pump. Of course, an overheated pump is a bad thing, and it takes about 90 cycles for this pump to overheat, so we cut it off around 40 to 45 cycles. If this pump is cycling on and off every few seconds after 45 cycles, the pump turns off and shows a flashing alarm light. This is to keep the pump from overheating. And this is this uh, flow meter and pressure switch work together to give you the dry run alarm and the cycle alarm. Another cycle alarm feature that occasionally you see is a smoke, a boat that has no accumulator tank and a real small water demand, such as an ice maker. If the ice maker is using small amounts of water, not enough to actually activate the flow meter when it pump, when the pump comes on. It can actually fool the pump into thinking there's a problem in the system and turn off showing a flashing alarm light. So in certain cases, you must have an accumulator, such as on a, on a sport fishing boat with, a, uh, with an ice maker or even some coaches that have certain types of ice makers. So sometimes an accumulator is actually required to make the pump operate properly. Now, if you have a larger system that has several, more than a couple of fixtures, like a two or three stateroom boat that has several heads, you really should have an accumulator tank anyway to uh, even out the demand on the system and also to keep the pump from cycling for every minor water demand event or getting nuisance alarms because of a dripping faucet.